Okay, so this is our final type of factorizing, type 5, and this is when you have the sum or difference of two cubes. Okay, so unlike the third type where we had the difference of two squares, you can only ever have the difference of two squares. In the fifth type of factorizing, when we are dealing with cubes, you can have the sum or the difference of two cubes. Okay? So let's say you have something like uh, uh, x cubed plus y cubed, or you have x cubed minus y cubed. Okay? Now, unfortunately, we don't have a particular process or method or four-step method here for this. With this, you're going to have to just remember how to factorize this type. So if you have the sum of two cubes, you have two sets of brackets. The second one is longer than the first. And the way we fill this in is whatever has been cubed to get the first term. So the first term is obviously x cubed. What we have cubed to get that is x. In other words, the cubed root of x cubed is x. What has been cubed to get the second term goes in here, and obviously y cubed will give you the second term here, y cubed. Then the second bracket, the way we fill the second bracket in is we square this and square this, and the middle term is the product of these two. So multiplying the x times the y, we get xy. Now, Filling in the signs here, and again, this is something you're just going to have to learn. If it's a plus, the signs go plus, minus, plus. Okay, so plus, minus, plus, if we're talking about the sum of two cubes. For the difference of two cubes, again, you'll have two brackets as you did before. Again, you're going to consider what you've cubed to get x cubed, what you've cubed to get y cubed, square it, square it multiply the two together, but the signs this time for the subtraction or the difference of two cubes will go minus plus plus. And again, you're just going to have to uh, practice and practice that to remember it. Okay, so just to recap, um, because the x's might be a little bit confusing, whatever you have that's being cubed, so make sure you figure out what that is. What is being cubed plus what is being cubed, okay? So say you've got two different things here, but you've got to consider what is being cubed in each. So if we are factorizing that, it is going to be the cubed root of this, in other words, whatever it is in there that is being cubed, the cubed root of this, then this squared, then this squared, and then multiplying the two together. And if it's the sum, it'll go plus, minus, plus. So we're gonna take an example. So let's say we have um, x cubed plus 27, and we want to factorize it. So x cubed plus 27, the first thing we need to figure out is what's been cubed. Well, what's been cubed here is obviously the x, and what's been cubed here to get 27 is obviously 3. So to factorize it, open up your brackets, take the x, take the 3, the two things that have been cubed, put them in the first bracket, now square this, and square this, and now multiply the two together, and the signs with the sum go plus, minus, plus. Okay, so now let's try a different uh, question. Let's try y cubed minus eight. So y cubed minus eight. So again, Pause the video if you like, go ahead and try this one on your own. If not, listen, we're gonna go through it now. What's being cubed to get y cubed? Of course, is just y all to be cubed. And to get eight, what's being cubed? The answer, of course, is two. Two is the number that's cubed to get eight. So now you've considered what that is, open up the brackets, and let's fill it in. 
y is what's been cubed to get the first term, 2 is what's been cubed to get the second term, and now square this, square this, multiply the two together, and the signs with the difference go minus, plus, plus. Okay, try this one. 64a cubed plus 125. Pause the video, see how you get on with this. Okay, first step is always to see what is being cubed to get each of the terms. To get a 64a cubed, you must have cubed 4a. And to get 125, the number that you must have cubed is five okay so that's the key bit of working out you need to do first now we're ready to start filling in the two brackets so 4a goes in first and then of course the five then you've got to square this now be careful when you square 4a don't forget to square both the 4 and the a so we get 16a squared square this 5 squared is 25 Multiply the two together, 4a times 5 is 20a, and the signs will go plus, minus, plus. Okay, and last example, if we have 216x cubed minus 1. Okay, so what's being cubed here? Well, in order to get 216, again, pause the video if you feel you can do this on your own, um, otherwise listen along. To get 216, you'd need 6 cubed, and to get 216x cubed, you need, of course, an x. So 6x, all to be cubed, is 216x cubed. And to get 1, of course, you just cube 1. 1 times 1 times 1 is, of course, 1. So now open up the brackets, put the 6x in, put the 1 in, then square this. Don't forget to square both the 6 and the x. We get 36x squared. Square the 1, we get 1. Multiply the 2 together. 6x times 1 is, of course, 6x. And the signs when it's a, the difference of two cubes is, of course, uh, minus, plus, plus.